I watched a guy spend an entire day trying to get an end mill to stop chattering. The first thing he did was slow the feed rate down. When that didn't work, he slowed it down some more. Then he tried a different holder. Then he tried a different tool. And before he knew it, he had spent an entire day on this issue and still had chatter in the part. Finally, another machinist walked over, set everything back to how it originally was, and then simply lowered the RPMs by 20%, but he increased the feed rate by 10%, and the chatter went away. This machinist knew why the tool was chattering, which was because it didn't have enough tool pressure. So therefore, he knew how to fix it. And it took him about five seconds, opposed to the whole day of fighting it like the other guy. Now, which one of these guys do you think makes more money? Curiosity and a desire for understanding is what has led us to the modern world we live in today. There have been massive accidental discoveries throughout history because of the desire to understand how and why. In 1895, a professor of physics was testing if cathode rays could pass through glass, and he had the tubes where the rays were being generated covered in heavy black paper. And even though they were covered in this black paper, he found that an incandescent green light escaped, and it was projected on a nearby screen that was chemically coated, causing it to glow. This was not at all what he was expecting, and he knew that whatever he was seeing was not cathode rays because of the distance it was being projected on, so it had to be something else. He started performing more experiments and soon figured out that this newly discovered ray could pass through most objects, including human tissue, but could not pass through high density objects like bone or metal. And through these experiments, the X-ray was born, which won the first Nobel Prize in physics in 1901 and transformed the medical industry forever. The X-ray was a complete accidental discovery that happened only because this physicist had a deep desire to understand why. Understanding the why is one of the most important aspects of learning a skilled trade, and it's what will separate you from being an operator or a real machinist. If someone walked up to the machine you're running right now and asked, why are you doing it this way? Why that RPM? Why that feed rate? Why did you cut this side first and not the other side? What would your response be? Would you be able to give them a detailed explanation? Or would you just say something like, well, I don't know, someone told me to do it this way one time and that's how I always do it. One guy I used to work with stopped me one day and he asked, how come you always want to know why? He said, I don't know why you're always questioning and everything. Who cares why? Just tell me what to put in and if it works, let's move on and not think about it anymore. Well, the big problem with that mindset is that you're not really learning anything. You're just memorizing it and copying what someone else does. So when real questions get brought up like, why am I getting chatter? Why does my surface finish look bad? Why are my tools breaking down? Why is my hole location out of tolerance? You won't have an answer for any of these if you aren't asking questions and understanding why along the way. I know you guys are sick of listening to Jesse's voice right now, so check this out. Coming up in February 2023, SolidWorks is hosting 3D Experience World Live in Nashville, Tennessee. Now this is a super awesome event where all the engineers, designers, makers, and entrepreneurs come together to network, learn new tricks, get new technology announcements, and so much more. You know, 3D design is one of my favorite parts of the trade, and I've always loved the fact that you could start with a completely blank slate, build a model pixel by pixel, and then make that part real in the real world. So here you can see the chuck that I just had open in SolidWorks. And we're getting ready to load this bad boy into the machine. Now, 3D Experience World is a great place to go to sharpen your skills or to break into the trades. And if you use our special code, 3DXW23TITANS, then you're gonna get 50% off your live conference pass. Hey, can we focus back on me, please? I don't interrupt you when you're trying to make a ball in a trapezoid, do I? Always making trinkets and toys. Anyway, so how do you gain more understanding? How do you find the answer to why? Well, here's three ways that you can seek out help and up your game as a machinist. Number one is to lean on your coworkers. Ask the machinists around you all the questions you can and take advantage of having someone face-to-face -face that can walk you through things in real time. Number two, check out the Titans of CNC Academy. It's completely free and has a ton of information from stoning the table to designing in CAD, programming with CAM software, and setting up and running the machine. And if you're new to the trade, this is a great way to understand the mechanics of machining and see how everything comes together. And number three, and probably the most important, join online machining groups. If you're only getting information from the ones around you, then you may only be getting one perspective because every machine shop does things their own way. 
The Titans of CNC Machining Facebook group, for instance, has over 60,000 members. That's 60,000 machinists from all over the world that you can ask questions to and have discussions with. There are so many great people in this group and an incredible amount of knowledge is traded every day. And here's a bonus for you. Make yourself a cookbook. Just like a good recipe, when you find what works, you don't want to forget it. So it's best to keep a log of it somewhere. Write down the tools you use, the material, the surface footage, feed rates, cutting depths, all the parameters that made a successful part. Doing this will not only give you a good point of reference for the next time, but it will also help you be consistent. And you can even take this a step further and document issues you have and what steps you took to fix them. Doing this can help you build a better picture of what's taking place and help you piece together the puzzle. So I hope all of you enjoyed this video and remember, never stop asking questions and always try to understand the why. If you do this, then I promise you, you will have a successful career in this trade. If you enjoy our content, give us a like and subscribe to the channel. And check out our online store where every single dollar spent helps us continue to provide free education to the world. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.